This video was made possible by Backblaze. Download it, forget about it, but then if something goes wrong, be super glad it has a full cloud backup of your data. Get 15 days free at backblaze.com slash HAI. This is Tokyo Narita Airport, known worldwide for being one of those places where the big metal things go nyeow. The airport is home to many things, such as Blue Sky Convenience Store Gate 82, Blue Sky Convenience Store Gate 94, and Blue Sky Convenience Store Gate 98, but one thing that you might not expect inside an airport is a farm, and yet here one is, right in between this taxiway and Blue Sky Convenience Store Gate 82. Now, many airports have unique amenities to try to help them stand apart. Singapore Changi Airport has a slide down to a gate, Denver International Airport has an open-air ice rink, and Newark International Airport has a casino where you don't gamble money, but rather your possessions on whether your baggage will arrive in a single piece. Tokyo Narita's farm, however, is not some bougie airport amenity, it's not decoration, it's a real working farm owned by someone named this guy. This is Takao Shito, and Takao Shito is the son of Toshi Shito, the father of Takao Shito, but also the owner of this farm back in the 1960s. This area, however, had been farmland since the year 700-ish when the emperor was like, yo, make this farmland. A couple years later, Japan sort of took the L in World War II, so the Americans came around and were like, yo, don't do the monarchy thing anymore, or at least make it low-key. So, as part of the low key of the whole monarchy thing, they sold off a lot of the emperor's farmland around here to mostly poor people who then did the farming thing. Such they did happily until the 1960s-ish, when the government was like, yo, we need this land to do the airport thing. You see, Japan was doing the economic development thing, which meant more travelers coming in, which meant more airplanes, which meant that this, the original Haneda airport, was not big enough. Also, it was in the middle of the city and ocean, which meant it wasn't really possible to make it much bigger. Therefore, the government had the genius idea to make a new airport here. No, uh, a little further, a little further, yep, more, yep, there. They had the genius idea to make a new airport a full hour's drive outside the city. Now, we all love a nice sexy slab of asphalt, of course. That is, unless it goes over your family's farm, because if I know anything about farming, it's that crop yield is inversely proportional to whether there's a slab of asphalt over your fields. Of course, it turned out that this sexy slab of asphalt would, in fact, go over Takaoshito's farm, along with a bunch of others' too, and the locals didn't like that, so naturally, they went full Le Miserable. I mean, look at this! He's got a spear! And this guy too! They've all got spears! And they build a barricade! I mean, say what you want about Japanese obedience and manners, but these protesters go hard! Now, of course, the airport wasn't going to be big enough to cover all these protesters' farms, that would be impressive, but rather, the protests got so large because they kind of struck a nerve with some of the increasingly prominent socialist opposition political parties in Japan who were particularly concerned with the rise in capitalism and the increasing US military presence in the country. They were so hardcore, in fact, that they built and defended huge towers physically blocking the approach path for the runways, delaying the airport's opening for years, but with time, the land was acquired and the airport was built. Except, there was just one bit that the government could never get. You see, after the opposition got so, you know, do you hear the people singy, the government picked a new site close by on what was left of the Goryeo farm, the emperor's property since the year 700, when he went, yo, make this farmland. Except, since monarchy became so passé, it was much smaller and not quite big enough to put the airport on, so they still had to buy land from other farmers who had bought it originally from when the land was sold off to make the monarchy more low-key. The government had little ability to seize the land due to Japan's strong legal protections for farmers, but they did manage to strong-arm most owners into selling, except for Toishi Shito. He and his son were offered up to the equivalent of $1.7 million for his farm, but never gave in, especially with the strong support they got from the anti-airport movement. Therefore, Shito and his family stayed there, the airport was constructed around him, and tunnels were built under the taxiways to allow for access, undoubtedly at huge cost. With the enormous delays due to the protesters' continued oppositions, which included highlights such as the throwing of raw sewage onto the riot police, the airport wasn't open for a number of years after Shito's encircling. When it finally was, few airlines really wanted to switch their flights over to it from Haneda because, after all, it was super, super far from the city. So the government made Haneda Airport domestic only, forcing airlines to switch over, and suddenly Shito's neighbors got a lot more noisy. That was of no worry to him, though, and he continued farming there until his death in 1999 when his son, Takao, took over. To this day, Takao kind of just lives his life, despite being in the middle of an international airport, growing carrots, onions, garlic, and more that he sells at nearby markets, helped in part by those who carry on the anti-airport movement, only with fewer bamboo spears. 
Reportedly, the pandemic and ensuing drop in air travel has, at least, let him enjoy a slightly less noisy backyard. Now, guess what? It's sponsorship time. And this one is crazy simple. It's Backblaze. You sign up at backblaze.com slash HAI, you download it, you forget about it, and then if your computer gets dropped or blown up or impaled by a bamboo spear, you'll have a full cloud backup to restore all your files. That is really it. Everything's backed up. If you need it, you download it or they ship you a drive with your data. It's $6 a month or free for 15 days at backblaze.com slash HAI. The true beauty of Backblaze is that you do forget about it. Everything happens in the background and you don't notice it at all. But when and if that day arrives when your computer's data is lost, this will be the best investment you've ever made. I've used Backblaze for over three years for exactly this reason. No credit card is required for a 15-day free trial, so there's literally no good reason why you shouldn't go to backblaze.com slash HAI, download it, and try it out. At the end, the worst that can happen is that you had the peace of mind knowing your files were safe for 15 days.